Hi Bull Bakers! One of my New Year's resolutions for 2020 was to master the art of sourdough making. But here's the thing, I've never actually made a loaf of sourdough myself because I've never kept a starter alive long enough. So here's the deal, we are going to actually make a starter right now, me and you, and I'm going to take you on this journey with me and I'm going to document it every step of the way. On biggerbolderbaking.com you can find the recipe for the starter, however you want to stay tuned to the videos because I'm going to have loads of information in there. Okay, let's get started with our little starter. So here I have some whole wheat flour and this is what we're using just to start our starter. Later on, we're gonna be using a white flour. Lots of people use different flours, that's totally up to them. This is what we're gonna use. So I'm just gonna put this in my nice big jar. Make sure your jar is nice and clean and it has a sealed lid. So next we're going to add in our water. Now I'm using tap water and that's totally fine. Some people prefer to use bottled water. I'm gonna leave that up to you. And then just pour that in there on the flour. And then with a fork, I'm just gonna mix these together. And what you're going for is a paste, kind of a loose kind of a paste, a little bit like oatmeal or porridge or something like that. If you find yours is a little bit too thick, add a little splash more water. So this is it, this is the start of our bread journey together. So fingers crossed everything works well. Seal it up nice and tight. So now you see a lot of people online naming their bread dough starters. And I think that if I do that, I'm probably less likely going to kill it and I'll probably keep it alive for longer. So I'm calling mine Bready Vedder because Kevin loves Pearl Jam. So here you go, that's it. Our sourdough is done for the next 24 hours. He's just gonna sit here and do his thing and then we're gonna come back and check on him. One of the pieces of advice I read online was don't overcomplicate this. You know, it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be a fun hobby to continue with and watch it grow. So don't overthink it, just go with the flow. As of right now, we are gonna come back in 24 hours and check to see how he's doing. So it's day two and I'm happy to say that Freddy Vedder is still with us. As you can see, there's a little bit of liquid forming on the top there. Some people say pour that off, but I'm gonna leave it be. I do see bubbles on the top and that's what you're supposed to see on day two. So look for bubbles on your starter. They do say though, if you don't see them, don't freak out. They might have already come and gone. So maybe you just missed them. But so far, day two is looking pretty good. So it is day three and Freddy Vedder is looking good, looking and smelling good. Let's open up the jar here. You're probably going to hear the gases in there. But do you see him? He's nice and bubbly. It smells really boozy and that's what it should smell like right now because it's fermenting. So I'm just gonna give it a bit of a stir. I like the look of the texture of it. It's like kind of like a thin yogurt. So here's what you want to do. We're gonna pour out half of it. You don't have to be too, too precise with this. Just estimate what you think a half would be because on day three you have to feed it so you get rid of a half and you replace that with new flour and new water and you add it in on top and that's how this whole process will go so into my starter I have what's left with half of it I'm going to add in some more flour and this recipe is on biggerbolderbaking.com along with all of the instructions as well in we go with our water and then just mix that all together so there you go it's a little bit thicker now since we added that in but I think this is looking good if you find that yours looks a little bit too thick add a little bit more water in don't be afraid and um, look you're kind of going roughly for this consistency like a like thick kind of a like a medium strain yogurt so this is looking good Pop back on, Bready Vedder's lid. So it is day five and Bready Vedder is looking really good. Let's have a little peek. I don't know if you can hear the gas, but just have a look in there. Do you see how bubbly it is? It has risen quite a lot. It's really bubbly. It smells sour but not bad. It shouldn't smell like rancid or anything like that. It should just smell kind of salty and sour. This is lovely. I love to see all those bubbles on top and like over the days it's actually grown quite a bit. So we're going to feed it again, just like we did day three and day four. We're feeding it day five and we're going to do the same thing on day six. So pour away half. 
and you just discard of this. Then we add in our little measure of flour, our equal amounts of water, and then with a fork, just mix it all together. Feeding our starter every day like this just makes it stronger and develops more flavor. Day five down and we're looking really good. I'm gonna put back on his lid. So then we're gonna do the same feeding again in 24 hours. So this is day six and we're gonna do the same feeding that we've been doing all the other days. Oh, it smells really boozy. Look at all those bubbles, big bubbles, small bubbles. I'm gonna pour half of it away. And like I said, you can do this by eyeballing it. And then we're gonna add in our flour and our water. So now what we wanna do is put the lid back on and come back in 24 hours. This is the last feeding we're going to do because you can either use it now or keep it in the fridge. But we're gonna come back, check on it in 24 hours. So this is day seven. This is actually the day that you're able to use your sourdough starter. So let me just show you what it looks like. He's doubled in size and you will see that your sourdough starter does do this over the days. It'll balloon right up. If we take off the lid again, it's almost like a marshmallow. Really bubbly, really squishy. It smells gorgeous. It smells sour. It smells boozy. It doesn't smell bad. Get used to this smell because this is what sourdough smells like and it actually is really good. So this is looking good. Now I said day seven. One way to check if your sourdough starter is ready to use is take a little drop and just add it to a bowl of cold water. And if it kind of floats like the way that is, I'll do another little bit. That means it's actually ready to use, so this is great. So here's what you want to do right now. You want to take out your starter and put it back into a nice clean jar. So Brady Vetter is nice and clean in his new jar. Now here's what you can do. You can put this into the fridge and feed it once a week and then you can make sourdough whenever you want. And I'm gonna put all that information on my website. Or, well, you can stay tuned because I'm going to take this sourdough starter and show you how you can make your very own homemade sourdough loaf.